What's up, everyone? Mark Lowrider, TigerFitness.com, alongside my man. Rich Homie Sean, High Performance Nutrition. So check it out. You guys see me in your gyms. You got these guys wearing these stupid fucking elevation masks. It's an epidemic. It looks crappy. They're doing deadlifts. They're doing cardio. They're doing CrossFit. It's scary as shit. They're going on jogs. They're they passing look, out everywhere. They look like they're doing some sort of alien routine. And I've been like, they look like they look like they're banging from Batman. <laughs> And I'm like, these must work because no one wants to look like that big of a douchebag without gains coming from it. And then I got a study in my message box this morning that showed what, Sean? It showed that they didn't work. They didn't work at all. In fact, there was no difference. And Sean actually explained to me why it doesn't work and why there's a difference between wearing these and training at high elevation. And for that, as someone who used to go up to Big Bear in the off season, you know, during football, out before football season to get, get ready for football, I understand elevation training, but Sean, how'd you explain it to me that really made sense? The easiest way to get at this is that these masks, they effectively reduce the amount of oxygen you can breathe in, in terms of air volume. They limit your capacity to draw in breath, but what they don't do is change the actual composition of the air, yeah. which is what changes that elevation. And what this study showed was that at different settings on this masks that were more and less intense, there was no difference. So in essence, there's no reason to look like a douchebag. You're not simulating being in the Rockies. At the end of the day, unless you're at elevation, an elevation mask is not gonna simulate that. And I always looked at these like I would never, ever, and I wear stupid stuff for performance. You know, like when I wear tights, yeah, I have big legs, I don't mind showing them, but mainly it's because when I deadlift or squat, I like to have nothing like loose. Okay, now I'll do stupid stuff for performance. But at the end of the day, this is even beyond what I would do. It just looks silly. And the fact that it's not doing anything for you, that just sucks. So in I'm my gonna... opinion, it's contrary also because it enforces and reinforces short, choppy breaths. Because yes. you end up breathing uh, 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 because you can't really draw in a full breath, which is different than training at altitude because you can still get a full breath in and breathe normally. But what happens is your red blood cell count, the oxygen levels in your blood, everything changes due to the elevation that you're going through. So the fact is that the masks like this, they don't impact your training the way that they're supposed to. They are bullshit in the long run and you don't need to use them. Yeah, so at the end of the day, train hard. If you're at elevation, you're at elevation. But you know, another thing I'm gonna predict right now, class action lawsuits. This study refutes something. A lot of people spent money buying these. A lot of people are gonna return these. A lawyer's gonna seep this up. He'll get one person to identify him. Class action lawsuits, you heard it first here. I'm going for the legal route. Just like with supplements, you get the same thing. Do you not see a class action coming about from this? Like Vibram's even got one. For it, yeah, it definitely. I mean, the fact that Vibram got it is, is a precedent. Cause I mean, I'm on the side where fucking consumer beware, you know? You need to pay attention to what you're buying. And uh, in this case, I don't know how many people, if any, were hurt by this, uh, whereas, there were actually a lot of people who, you know, attributed the Vibrams to them developing foot conditions and et cetera. But, you know, there is a chance you could be hurt by this mask. Let's say you combine it with something even stupider, like ele elevated temperature, <laughs> elevated temperature training, uh, paleo, anything like that. <laughs> so guys, there you have it. Elevation masks. Um, I've said this before. It's not worth using because you look stupid. But now not only do you look stupid, but there's no advantage over not using them at all. Sean, anything to add? I think we covered it, man. Don't buy that shit. <laughs>